Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright. Let's climb up here and uh, see where that Fem Goon was coming from. Going up. Oh, oh that was close. <laughs> Nearly jumped off. Alright, now we got two ways to go up. We can go left or right. Let's go left first. Because this is another part where we gotta walk. Really wish they kept the walking mechanic from Final Fantasy. Where you just had to press the cancel button while running to get the character to walk rather than uh, pressure sensitive walking yeah all right so we've got a looks like a an armament and a new enemy called the flan amarillo amaretto no this one as far as i can tell is uh, non alcoholic all right so flan amarillo has 303 hp 322 mp can steal two electro marbles or one lightning marble from it. It is weak to water, uh, absorbs thunder, resistant to fire and ice, and it is immune to berserk and curse, and uses thunder magic. So yeah, so I guess we'll take out the uh, Araman and then, uh, well, no, let's. Uh, I'm gonna send Riku and Pain after the Flannamarillo and see if we can take it out without using any uh, special attacks. So yeah, Marillo. Alright, sweet. And then, you know, hopefully we can handle... Oh, it's a fly eye. The low light made me think otherwise. Alright. Walk. Just, I'm just walking in one direction once I get the walking animation. Hold circle. Really? Really? again. Lock. Lock. One more try and then I'll come back when I get it. You know what it looks like. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Unnecessarily difficult mechanics. All right, let's try again. No. No. Finally. All right, there we go. Third time's the charm. Here we get a white key. I right, guess we'll be selling that one. We've already got three of them. And we've got others that can uh, supply the extra stat boosts, should we need it. Alright, let's head in here. Alright. How close is Yuna to, le to learning that? Chemist, I wonder. Four more to go. Sweet. Right in here. Just want one thing, and that is treasure chest, which treasure chest, which contains some Phoenix down. Oh boy. Oh wow. We can handle that on our own. You know what? Since we've got the thief dress fear on. Uh yeah, so oversold. What was this again? This was a fly eye? Alright. Wow. All right. Oversold fly eye has 1032 HP, 52 MP. You can steal three to four Phoenix downs from it. Uh, no elemental affinities, immune to curse, and. Yeah, not only can it slow you, but it can also cast elemental magic, as you can see, level two. <laughs> so, yeah. 
All right, how do we want to do this? Uh, yeah, probably gonna have Riku and Yuna handle damage dealing and uh, pain Pilfer Gill and Steel. So yeah. Uh, there. Allow me to lighten the load. All right, or no Steel, just didn't realize we were that strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, so that would have been what? She should be down to one more AP, right? Yeah. Let's heal up over here. Uh, let's use pains. There we go. Let's climb. Oh, what's out here? to be sacred Ronso ground? Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. What? You think some Ronso boogeyman is gonna come get you? <laughs> Better that than the boss, you know what I mean? Hey! You two been slacking off! No, we were, uh, getting ready for duty. Just trying to, uh, rejuvenate, sir. I know in the past I have What's this? A hot spring? said some things about well, Hetty Barres, most notably Look, in uh, this channel's me. old Final that Fantasy X LP, and there's the third in Syndicate uniform. That was easy, anyways. Well, as long as we're here, on sacred ground. No one. But after not. learning some things that voice actors do have to put up with. You know, like voice direction and all that kind of stuff. I find more enjoyment in hearing the range. Ah, mm, this feels great. <laughs> what have we here? And their ability to modulate what? and modify their own voice hmm. to sound. Like different characters. Whatever. I know who's got it going on. Different enough to where Excuse me. Stay away. It causes you to pause and double think of is that who I think it is or not? <laughs> you should check out pain. So yeah. Heart time. I could tell that at least one of those Fem Goons was Hedy Barres. Yuna's voice actor. You want some? Ooh, let me help. But I where, guess the where? uh I didn't mean it. Too late. I guess the quality of the voice change, if you will, for lack of a better word. I felt like I had to say something to uh, follow up what noise? I said previously, all those years ago. Just taking a little dip. Thanks, buddy. Don't worry, I'm not the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should get out. I'm getting all roomy. <sighs> I really needed that. On second thought, that Femgoon could have also been Ping's voice actor as well. But yeah, it's just a good sign of a voice actor being able to change your voice like that to the point where people think they know who it is but not really and yeah so yeah whoever it was well done for both of you all right so we got the uh in uniform took a bit of a uh, a bath and uh we're ready to go all right uh yes yeah, go for the fly Really? Alright, let's do it. 
All right, there's chemist. Awesome. Right. Pilfer kill that. Sticky fingers the other. Right. Yeah, no, we'll just steal. Oh, there's a save point right there. So, all right, we got it. Wow, that wasn't enough. This should be enough. Oh wait, no. Ha <laughs> ha. We're dealing with the oversold here. <laughs> So the oversold Flan Amarillo has 300, oh sorry, no, it's regular performance. Oversold has 1,172 HP, 322 MP, you can steal two to three lightning gems from it. Still weak to water, absorbs thunder, strong to fire and ice. Immune to confuse, berserk and curse this time, as well as magic break and still uses thunder magic, so yeah. All right. Yeah, I guess we can do this. Ooh, we got a black choker. Unfortunately, since it's a random drop, I'll be selling it. Oh, shucks, if only we could get another accessory that protects against confusion and have three of them. But, alas, I am not including random drops. All right, so we got uh, Chemist, so let's switch her over to Remedy. It is Remedy, right? Not items? Yeah, Remedy. Just so we've got a, some form of Isuna during battle. And yeah, we might as well heal up. Yeah. There we go. And let's keep going if I can figure out where the map is versus where unit is. Let's heal up. Let's go. We'll be taking that uniform back. If we lose it, the LeBlanc will give us the heal. Uh, sorry, ladies. We need it. <laughs> so yeah, just a refresher for the Fem Goons. 167 HP, 172 MP. You can steal one to two Phoenix or huh, one to two potions from them. Uh, no elemental affinities. Only immune to curse and. Yeah, they, unlike the uh, Shigoons, they can use magic and physical attacks. So, yeah. I guess the physical attack might be... So I can't remember if I've ever actually seen them use, use them normally. Uh, so I guess maybe it's like uh, if they get silenced, they'll use the physical attack. So, yeah. All right, you know what? This is probably a good place as any to uh, change my setup here. So I'll take care of that and be right back. Yeah, I figured I probably could have done this at the save server, but I think the reason why I had my notes to do it after that fight was just in case we run into the, the status ailment enemies. So, yeah. Alright, so here we go. We got Yuna on Helios Guard with the Alchemist. Got her with the Power Wrist and Mithril Gloves there to boost her strength and defense. Riku, she's on Vanguard with the Thief Dress Fear, and I'll be switching her over to Gunner as soon as uh, her uh, thieving is done. Uh, and got her with the wristband and muscle belt. And for pain, she's on Vanguard as well with the Thief Dress Fear, which she'll be staying on. I got her both two of the uh, muscle belts there. So there we go. And for abilities, I didn't change anything, but just to quickly show you what we're learning here. There's Riku, still working, still doing the uh, sticky fingers thing, and past two thirds with Trigger Happy level three there. And for pain, yeah, she's a past two thirds on item hunter. Awesome. All right, let's go. Lousy go wings. Falling down on people like that gave me a little surprise. That's all. For a little surprise, you sure took a while to come back. Who asked you? Oh boy, and here we go. Or me, yet again. I'll buy, an, I'll buy his lonesome? Wow. He's got guts. <laughs> I guess we did provoke him, or painted it anyway. Alright, so Ormi here has 1,350 HP, 22 MP. You can steal a fi an X Potion or an Elixir. Why do I keep trying to say Phoenix Down? Anyways, X Potion and Elixir. Uh, immune to gravity. Susceptible to sleep and darkness and poison and slow. And yeah, 
delay his attack and you can interrupt his attacks. Uh, and yeah, it basically just has the physical attacks. So yeah, that's pretty much why we boosted our strength and defense as much as we could. So yeah. All right, so yeah, we're gonna have Riku and Pain, Pilfergill and uh, Sticky Fingers, and then uh, yeah, we'll go to town on them. And if we need any uh, healing, we can use Yuna's mixes. So yeah. All right. Uh, to Pilfergill, Sticky Fingers. Awesome. All right, let's do this. Now oh, we want Gunner. Feel like taking a spin. Ow. Okay. Yeah, let's... Potion and high potion. Oh. I'm gonna pump you so full of lead! <laughs> Gives us a mega potion. Haha. <laughs> Ow. And that was quick. You got a beat of brooch out of that. This is brother. How is everything? Mission accomplished. <laughs> we found ourselves a uniform. Roger. We are on our way. And we also get the stone hewn garment grid as well. Intruder! Oh wait. Well, perfect. We're off to Chateau Leblanc. Let's settle the score. And mission complete. And even though it was automatic, we did need to see this cutscene for completion. So yeah, and we get the bum rush garment grid. We've been getting a lot of. Defense and magic defense, garment grids, and you can return to the bridge from here. So we can take a look at our uh, our spoils from what we just got. All right, so the beaded brooch guards against silence and darkness. Could be quite useful for Riku since she could be uh, well. <laughs> Formerly, I guess. Well, I guess if we. Uh, unfortunately, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> well, if we ever decide not to use Gunner with Riku, I guess it could be useful. <laughs> so, yeah, got that. And the Garment Grids Bum Rush. Finally, we've got a plus 10 for strength and magic. So, yeah, we've been getting a whole bunch of defense stuff so far, and now we finally get the upgraded uh, Vanguard Garment Grid. So, yeah. And what else do we got? Oh, yeah, we got the. Uh, Stone hewn. Where is it? There it is. And yeah, more defense. <laughs> Alright, so we've got ourselves the third LeBlanc Syndicate uniform. At least I would expect to find the hot spring. I've been to a hot spring before, and I can't remember for sure if it was high altitude or not. It was in the uh, Canadian Rockies back in the 90s. All right. Uh, how are we doing here? Items, yeah. Definitely going to be wanting to keep an eye on our item stock a little more closely. Now, just for the sake of making sure we've got items for the mixes. So, yeah. All right, so yeah, we've got all three uniforms, which means we should finally, hopefully, Lord willing, be willing to be uh, able to get into uh, Chateau Leblanc in Guado Salam. So I guess we'll have to uh, storm the castle, as they say, next time.
This is Intrepid83 signing off, formerly known as Sirk1983. Oh, and before I finish out my outro here, before, before we enter Guadalajara, the Chateau Le Blanc, entering Chateau Le Blanc is a point of no return. So if you have not completed any mini games or side quests up to this point, or you haven't uh, gotten any items that I have up to this point, or who knows, maybe if you want to get some extra stuff from the Gunner's Gauntlet in Besaid or something like that, do it now before you go into Chateau Leblanc. So yeah, just want to make that absolutely clear. And I'll probably say it again at the beginning of the next episode before we head in, just to make absolutely clear that yes, you do need to make sure all of that stuff is done uh, before entering. So yeah, it is a point of no return. So yeah, we'll be yeah. as soon as we go through there, it's a push to the end of the chapter. So, yeah. All right. This is Intrepid83 signing off, formerly known as Sirk1983. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like on your way out. It really does help support the series here and helps it get noticed. If you dislike the video, feel free to hit the dislike button. Maybe leave a comment suggesting how it can improve. I'm always looking for ways to improve my, uh, my style for LPs and all that kind of stuff. And until next time, thank you for spending some of your time here. Take care. Be blessed and have a good one.